Kathy Aoki calls herself a sneaky feminist. The work that I'm making now is a series called The Construction of Modern Girlhood, and it's a visual allegory for how the media affects girls. She spent about 50 hours in her Santa Clara studio carving linoleum plates for her latest print in the series. The girls in Kathy's linoleum cut prints and installation pieces look like anime characters, similar to the ones in the cartoons that inspired her recent work. When I started the construction of girlhood work, the Powerpuff Girls was a cartoon on the Cartoon Network. Sugar, spice, and everything nice. It featured three anime style girls. You know, they had kind of like the big eyes and the bob hair and such. And they had supernatural powers and they would save the city of Townsville over and over again. But Kathy also saw something else. There were major things wrong. One was their supernatural powers were from a chemical accident. A chemical X. So they didn't earn their powers at all. Then the second big problem was the professor. They would run around and save the city of Townsville, and then they'd come home and be tucked in at night by this professor. So they still were like taken care of by this male figure that really pretty much controlled their lives. When I was growing up, my, my parents had the same job, so they were both physicians and they went to the same medical school. And my mom was one of two women in her class at medical school. So I saw a lot of her struggles. One day they wouldn't let her into the hospital parking lot where doctors park because the person at the attendant gate said, hey, you can't be a doctor lady, you're, you, maybe you're a nurse, but you can't park here. Girls are kind of commanded by magazines and television to be at the same time cute and sexy. So the idea is that if you're like a vixen that gives you power, which I felt was very deceptive. So the work that I make is kind of showing um, this messed up system that's perpetuated by the media that makes girls want to uh, conform and buy into this cuteness. After more than 60 hours of drawing, carving the plates, and preparing the ink, Kathy can finally begin printing trial pieces. This is the fun part because the moment when you ink up the plate, it's like your reward for all those hours of work to see what happened. But even then, linoleum cut printing is a process of trial and error. So it's still a little light, and so um, there's some unevenness to the application of ink. It takes many more tries before the color is dark enough, and that's before Kathy has a chance to layer on the black plate. And on this day, Kathy has something else to prepare for. Hi, <laughs> Lawrence, how are you doing? <laughs> Lawrence Mann commissioned Kathy her first solo show in Los Angeles at his gallery. It opens in 10 days, and he's visiting to see her work in person for the first time. These are, 16, these are additions, so it's like one out of 20. Right. I just think that, honestly, they're worth a lot more. Okay. Art, to me, has to be genuine. Okay. And when somebody does something genuine, it, the work will speak for itself. And then the message will come through. But Kathy's subtle style doesn't always work. After an open studio, she received a call from a woman who argued with her husband about the meaning of Kathy's prints. It's interesting that it was actually the, the male in the party that recognized what I wanted the work to say and recognized that there was a system here, that something was wrong, where the women in the group actually thought that the work was about, yes, we should all be more beautiful and wear makeup. I think she was disappointed because her husband was right. <laughs> Kathy has experimented with different visual styles since she began making prints more than 10 years ago. But one thing has remained constant. I try to use humor and pattern and color, things that will attract an audience that might not necessarily want to stick around for strong feminist messages. So I have a hard time myself looking at angry feminist work 
and I feel that it often puts a wall between the artist and the viewer. Uh-huh. I don't think that is your that work piece of work is as good as these two. Uh-huh. That's a start. Los Angeles may be a difficult litmus test for what Kathy has to say. Uh, I'm curious how the image heavy kind of environment or the so-called La La Land, um, how they will react to this. I think it might do really well there. There may be more people interested in the aesthetic in my work, whether or not they see it for the meaning. Yeah, we'll see. After spending another two days printing and adding watercolor, the print is ready to be framed. I think the print came out really well. If I think about how powerful the media is, I'm just like this tiny little non-existent flea. I'm only doing this small little bit, um, but I, I still think I need to do it because if I can just get a few people to think about it, then it's still worth it to me. Okay, I'm done. <laughs>